Welcome to All I Mans TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. Today we have another challenge. But before we go into this challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop wonderful video. So let's go into today's challenge. The question says, bracket open A all over 125, close bracket to the power of A minus 125 to the power of 125 all to the power of 2 equal to 0. What then will be the value of A? So let's take our solution from here. We take solution. All right, we write down our equation, which is A all over 125, close bracket, to the power of A minus 125 to the power of 125 all to the power of 2 equal to 0. So the number one thing we do here is to send this quantity to the right hand side. So here is having a minus sign. So it crosses the sign of equality, it turns to plus. So this will now give us A all over 125 all to the power of a equal to 125 to the power of 125 all to the power of 2. All right. Now, at this point, what do we do? If you look at this in this bracket, we use this a to open everything in this bracket. According to the law of indices, which says that if you have your x let's say have x um, y all to the power of uh, p we distribute this p among the terms in the bracket so this now becomes x to the power of p y to the power of p so if we apply that here this will automatically become bracket open a to the power of a all over 125 to the power of a Okay, so let's do away with our bracket. All equal to 125 to the power of 125 to the power of 2. Okay, very good. Now, from this point now, we look at this critically. If I want to eliminate this 125, what will I do? Because the base here is also 125, so I will cross multiply. Here, we are having dx all over a visible one. So, I want to cross multiply. So, now say multiply, multiply both sides by 125. So, if I do that, dx will automatically become a to the power of a all over 125 to the power of a times 125 to the power of a equal to 125 to the power of 125 or to the power of 2 times 125 to the power of a and as you can see dx we take care of dx so we are now left with from here let's proceed Let's press dx will now give us a to the power of a equal to 125 to the power of 125 to the power of 2 dot 125 to the power of a. Okay. From here, we are having the same base now. And there is a law of indices which says that when the bases are the same and you have a multiplication sign, they add the power. For instance, if you have a to the power of m dot a to the power of n, this becomes a to the power of m plus n. In this regard, our a is 125 here, then our m is 125 to the power of 2, and our n is a. So let's take one of the bases and then add the power. 
So from here, this will now give us a to the power of a equal to 125 to the power of 125 or to the power of 2 plus our a. All right. Very good. Now, what is the next thing we do here? If you look at Dix now, there is nothing we can do here except we take the log to um, base 125 here. Okay? So let's take log to base 125. And I'll say take log to base 125 of both sides. Okay? So we do that to both sides of both sides. So if we do that, Dix will automatically give us log a to the power a b is 125 equal to the log of b is 25 to 125 to 125 to the power of 2 plus a. Okay. Now, from here, we apply the power law of logarithm, which says if you have log m to p, let's say b is 10, take this power back. So this will automatically become p log m b is 10. Now, I produce a video on the laws of logarithm is showing up here okay you can equally watch this video too to see um, the nine laws of logarithm how they are operated and how they works okay so let's come back to our question here from here our m is a our 10 is 125 and our p is a yeah so we bring it back we also do that to this other side so if we go by this law, then automatically we're going to have here a log a b is 125 equal to 125 to the power of 2 plus a as our power log 125 b is 125. All right. Very simple. Okay. Now that we are having this now, there is another law again that says the log of any number base itself or the log of any alphabet base itself is 1. Okay? So it's also among the laws in my video too. Okay? So from here, the whole of this will give us 1. So the expression thus becomes log A base 125 equal to, here we have 1, 2, 5 to the power of 2 blocks A. Because this one will give us 1. So the whole of this side is gone. Okay. From here, I want to eliminate this A. And for us to eliminate this A, we divide this side and this side by A. So from here we'll say, divide, divide both sides both sides by a so if we do that let's proceed from here so that will now give us your a log a b is 125 all over a equal to you'll have 125 to the power of 2 all over a then you will have lux A all over A. All right. Now, from here, A will go with A. This A will also go with this A. So we are now left with lug A is 125 equal to 125 to the power of 2 all over A lux one okay all right so but before we continue 
If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, okay? And turn on the bell notification button so that you can get notified whenever we drop unsolved video, okay? Because in this channel, we drop new videos every day. All right, so let's continue. From here, when I look again, so what we do at this point here, X, um, um, okay, let's let, um, let's bring out another expression here. In place of uh, A, with regards to 125, okay, so from here, let's see, let A be equal to 125 um, Y. Let's put in Y this time, okay? Is equal to 125 y so if we put in y in here then wherever we see a we put in 125 y so that will now make this expression to become log 125 y then b is 125 equal to 125 to the power of 2 all over 125 y plus one all right okay the game is playing out now we're having 125 times y so we can succumb to the product law of logarithm so the product law of logarithm says that if you have m to the power of x y says that if you have log it says that if you have log um x y base 10 this is same thing as log x base 10 plus log y base 10. so let's apply this law to this expression here because our x is our 125 and our y is your y here so that law is also among the video i produce so do yourself that favor to watch that video that quick okay so let's go on with this this will automatically the left hand side will now become log 125 base 125 plus log y base 125 or equal to 125 to the power of 2 all over 125 y plus 1 okay now like we did the other time we said the log of any number base itself is one so the whole of this side will give us one so we now have here one okay one plus log y base 125 equal to 125 to the power of 2 all over 125 y plus 1 okay if you look at this carefully if we collect light terms this one we cancel out this one okay because once it crosses the sign of equality this plus one we turns to minus so we are going to have plus one minus one which automatically give us zero so if we have this to be zero our expression will now become log y is 125 equal to 125 to the power of 2 all over 125 y okay so from here again let's proceed okay. from this expression here now 125 to the power of 2 means 125 times 125 so automatically this 125 we strike out one of the 125 so if we divide here our expression we now become log y so the base of 125 equal to 125 all over y. Wow. So from here, if I cross multiply again, now because we are having here all over 1, okay, divisible 1. So if I cross multiply, dx with times this, dx with times dx, x sign also. Okay, so dx will now automatically become y log y 
this 125 equal to 125. According to the law of log reading, we can return this to the power here. So this will now give us log y to the power y of this 125 equal to 125. Okay. What if I'm to convert this to indices? So we change from log to indices, okay? Because there is a strong relationship between indices and log reading. So if we are to convert this back to indices, this will automatically give us y um, to the power of y equal to 125 to the power of 125. Now, there is a law in indices. Um, that says that when a number, a number is raised to itself on the left-hand side and at the same time, another number is raised to itself, then it can become like this. So the powers can be the same. So from here, this now implies that y equal to 125. As simple as A, B, C. But recall, we said that from um, here we said let A is equal to 12y. So now say recall that A is equal to 125y. So wherever we see our y, we put in the 125. So if we do that, this will now become, therefore, A is equal to 125 times 120 which automatically will give us 1, uh, 5, 15, 6, 2, 5. This is the value of A. So, therefore, we have A to be X. As simple as A, B, C. But we can confirm. Let's confirm our answer. If this is actually true for the value of A. So the question said a all over 125 bracket a or minus 125 to the power of 125 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So we got our a to be 15,625. So this now implies your 15,625 all over 125 all to the power of 15,625 minus 1, 2, 5 to the power of 1, 2, 5 out to the power of 2 equal to 0. Now, this can divide this. And if we use this to divide this, this automatically will give us your 125. So we now have it to be 125 to the power of 1, 5, 6, 2, 5 minus 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 5 to the power of 2. Now, 15,625 is the same thing as 125 to the power of 2, which is the square of 125. So when I have this to be 125 to the power of 125 to the power of 2 minus 125 to the power of 125 to the power of 2. So we are having a plus sign here. We are having a minus sign here. So by the time you equate this, where you add the two, it will give you zero. Okay, so that shows that our answer is correct. Thanks for being there. This is Online Mass TV, and my name remains Jakes. Remember, I love you, and all of us at Online Mass TV love you. Bye for now.